Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Caboose XBL bringing you another Injustice 2 video, and today we're going to be doing is breaking down the Injustice 2 gameplay trailer. That's right, the official gameplay for Injustice 2 just released online a little bit ago. It was insane. I did my official reaction on it. If you'd like to check that out, the link for it will be in the description box below. But what we're going to be doing today is breaking down the Injustice 2 gameplay trailer. We're going to be talking about some things you might have missed, some gameplay features that might end up in the actual game, and some overall thoughts on the trailer itself. So let's just get right into it. You can see there we got another look at the Captain Cold gun, obviously hinting at the fact that he might be a playable character in Injustice 2, and that seems like it's going to be something that we're going to have to wait to find out, possibly at E3, which is in just a few days now. There she is, Supergirl with an awesome costume. I love the design of Supergirl. She looks fantastic. And there is none other than the Red Lantern himself, Atrocitus. But not only that, he is accompanied by Dexter the Cat, Dexter. That's right, Dexter the Cat that obtains the Red Lantern ring. That is so awesome. And I don't think he just has a role in Atrocitus' character intro. I think he plays a little bit more of a bigger role to the character of Atrocitus. And that's something we'll get to a little later on in the trailer. Another thing worth mentioning here is that we got the interactive character intros back. That's right. From Injustice 1, everyone had their own generic line that they had when they came into the game for their character intro. But in MKX, they introduced this new mechanic where every single character spoke to each other in their character intro as though it was something relative, you know, rather than saying something generic. So it seems they're bringing that back in Injustice 2, the relative dialogue between the two characters as though they're actually about to fight each other and not just saying something generic every single time like we got in Injustice 1 and all the fighting games before that. So that's really great. I'm glad that they're bringing that back and I can't wait to see what the dialogue is like between all these different characters. I punch above my weight. I really want to say that I hate this stage. I honestly just hate it. And the reason I hate it is because it's so small and claustrophobic and it's so dumb. You got Supergirl and this supervillain Atrocitus fighting and people are ordering drinks at a bar. That is way too cartoonish for me. Injustice always had this serious tone and it took itself very seriously. So I just, I don't know how I feel about that, especially just... There's these random civilians ordering drinks while two freaking superpowered beings are going at it in front of them. I mean, I don't know. This stage, I'm really not buying it. And if you pick it when we fight against each other online, we're not going to be good friends, okay? There it is, our first look at Gorilla Grodd, and here is Aquaman. And they are both playing on the Atlantis stage. Atlantis looks fantastic. It's colorful. It's Awesome. I am so excited to play on this stage. This is one where we're going to be good friends if you pick this stage when we play online. Loving both the designs of Gorilla Grot and Aquaman. They're looking awesome. What do you want, Grot? Your head on a plate. There we can see Gorilla Grot's mind control powers being put to use. And here is a brand new look at the Metropolis stage. You can also see in the background there a LexCorp logo on what seems to be some sort of construction stuff uh, going on. So it seems like we are continuing after the events of Injustice 1. Metropolis is being rebuilt after what had happened in the first game. And it seems like LexCorp is continuing on with their work. I mean, we know what happens to Lex Luthor in the first game. So that legacy seems to still be living on. Now, another thing that I wanted to mention, as I said, Dexter is probably playing a little more big of a role with Atrocitus in Injustice. As you can see, he's right there in gameplay, side-by-side -side Atrocitus, so it seems that character traits are going to make their way back into Injustice 2. That's awesome. What the hell Dexter is going to do as part of Atrocitus' character trait, I don't know, but I'm really excited to see it. Overall, the gameplay just looks badass and here it is the return of stage transitions they are bigger and better than ever an awesome new costume here for superman looking bright 
and saturated and awesome and the graphics just look insane. I am so excited for this game. Here's some more looks at stage transitions. And there it is, some of the gear system being shown to us. You can see some of the gear transforming. Of course, they're just showing the same exact intro or outro, whatever it may be, but with multiple gear interchanging off of these characters. So what it's showing here doesn't seem to be the actual gear that upgrades your character, but more or less the personalization, you know, some of the customizable stuff that just changes the look of your character. And that looks great. Batman looking awesome. One interesting thing to note, as if we can go back here, is uh, it seems like every single one of his alternate pieces of gear almost commemorates members of the Bat family. This one looking very Nightwing-ish. Uh, this one, I'm not really sure. Maybe, I don't know. I I'm not really sure what I can make out. Maybe Robin with the orange, but I, I don't know. This seems like it's just cool gear. And then, of course, we had the Batman Beyond gear in which we saw during the launch trailer and this this thing looks badass here we get a look at supergirl's super move and it's batshit insane it seems like she flies you to the sun and then uses her heat vision to knock you all the way back down to earth it's just insane and there it is the one big thing that everyone is talking about in this trailer black Manta now what the hell is going on here some people are thinking that he's a playable character some people are thinking that he's a stage transition I don't know what the hell is going on here but here's the thing if he's a stage transition he's grabbing Aquaman's trident there it almost seems like it's too specific to be just a stage transition but at the same time it's too specific to be a super move for Black Manta or something. So what I'm wondering is, is this little tiny tidbit something from the story of Injustice 2? That'd be very interesting because yeah, he has Aquaman's trident in his hands. So what is going on there? Unless the stage transitions are that advanced to where specific characters have specific things happening to them in the stage transitions, I don't know what's going on here, but Black Manta holding Aquaman's trident means a lot as to what is happening and whether or not this is a stage transition or Black Manta being a playable character. I really hope Black Manta is a playable character. He is a badass Aquaman villain and I'd love to see him in Injustice 2. But my best guess right now is this little tidbit is from the story mode of Injustice 2. And then we get a look at the Butcher. That is right. The Something that is most known and uh, most recognized to the character of Atrocitus is this guy, the Butcher. And it seems like he is involved with Atrocitus' super move, which is almost kind of similar to Scorpion's, where it seems like he takes you to this hellish area and just does a bunch of bad shit to you. And this is here Batman's super move, followed by Superman's super move. And then, Aquaman super move, which is just insane. They're taking it to the next level with Injustice 2. Everything's being kicked up to 11. I hope this breakdown showed you some stuff you might have missed the first time or second time or third time that you watched this gameplay trailer. If it did, please drop a like on the video. It shows your appreciation. That is, if you enjoy the video. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter and like me on Facebook. Those links for that will be in the description box below. I'm Caboose XBL. Drop a comment if you have an opinion. Like the video and subscribe if you're new. See you guys later.